Hello everyone, Mike Money Gaming here. How's it going? I finally kicked all those guys' ass and it gave me a level up. So let's level up our HP because we're gonna need it, trust me. Yeah, all this was for Tornado Jump. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet, so we're gonna have to uh, go back this way. Basically, all this was for was for that badge. Now, I've never, never actually tried using that uh, one thing, and since we just leveled up, we don't have to worry about that. Good. But um, another thing, I was off screen, I feel kind of bad. I actually got a um, cool stylish command to work. Um, right after you um, pound the ground with the uh, Quake Hammer, if you hit A, he'll do a backflip. It looks kind of neat. Anyway, um, let's come on up to here. This might only be a 15 minute part, because I don't remember how, uh, how many episodes this is, so yeah. I think if you go over here, there's something inside this thing here. Yeah, look at that. There's a star piece right there. It's a shine spot right here. Inside this treasure chest is... Oh, a cookbook! Alright. The cookbook allows you to uh, cook double objects, I think. And we got a nice smash. Ex execute superbly to freeze a foe into immobility. Of course, that doesn't really matter because... I don't know how that would be very useful in this area. Anyway, you probably don't notice, but you can actually jump on this form. It's kind of silly, but yeah, you can do it. Is there anything in here? My friends have all been taken away. So lonely. So he won't let us in there. What about here? My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. Ah. Madam Flurry, I need you. Hello, secret. Aha! This is one of those creepy secrets. And inside here we got... Oh, a flower saver! Drop FP used when Mario attacks by one. Okay. Yeah, I've always referred to those as, like, slightly creepy uh, ones because... They're all over the place in, like, Final Fantasy IV and stuff like that, but, um, like, you know, it takes you to, like, the black part of the world, and, and it's kind of neat. Anyway, we'll go through this door. Let's find out. And we have a weird treasure chest. What the hell? Let's open it. Oh-ho! Hee-hee! Oh! -ho. Hee -hee. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out? Total. Um, 200? Good, very good. Take this, math nerd. See you, sucker. <laughs> Thank you. This is an underground corridor and it's a creepy steeple. The flames are kind of freaky. The fact that they're burning means someone must have been here recently, though. I love that. <laughs> Take this, math nerd, and he gives you a hyper shroom. That's just awesome. Actually, I suck at math. I forget if I told you that or not, so it's kind of funny that they said that. Sniff, sniff. Are you going to be mean to me? No. Promise? Come on, come on out, guys. Whoa. <laughs> it's over here. That's ah, the swooper. I think that's what their name is.
The only problem is I haven't been able to get my jump one to work. That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So, anyway. Max HP is 6, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. Oh, don't use that. Oh, I didn't know he was going to do that. Let's see if I can get it to work. Yeah, there we go. I just tap A like crazy and it works after a while. I guess you can't super guard something that isn't there. Nice! <laughs> you just did like a front flip. <laughs> ah. I see why you love, um... Uh, damn it. Um... This game's, um, stylish moves, buddy. And sorry, I don't remember your name right now. Oh, yes, I do. It's, um... Let me think. Stylish moves, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, or something like that. You know, a little... But, you know, having an acronym or something like that. What's through here? Oh, we're back in this room again. Oh, I missed the key because I didn't have the right character out. Yeah, really, these guys don't really do anything, just piss you off by flying around. That's all they really do. What's over here? Since I fell anyway. Anyway, um... We don't want him to use that item, so let's kill him real quick. quick. Ah. Why do you keep attacking my partner? Damn it. Ugh. Just what I always wanted. <sighs> Not really. I really don't care for coins. I don't really care for HP drain either. Actually, so we do not want to hit that switch because what it's going to do is change the thing here. Let's change to coops. I think I said this in one of my last recordings, but I'm in the mood for a hamburger again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so hungry during my recordings, but I am. I got a key. It's that door over there. It's basically, if you can tell, we want to hit the switch twice, it looks like. I wonder if we have to hit it from this side. I wonder if we, I think we have to hit it from this side. Hit it once. Just in case, hit it again. Should be in the right spot now. 
But if it's in the middle, you don't go anywhere, so that's why you don't want it in the middle. Hit the save block. Use the steeple key. Go through the door. Sure, use the health block. And let's head upstairs. Coops would be a good idea. Let's keep Coops. All oh, this for a springboard. <laughs> okay. Hey, hang on there, Slick. What are you doing interrupting me my me time? Um, this is the monster the mayor talked about? Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way your ninnies go away quietly, am I right? Well, alright then, Slick. Fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? That's not nice. Why would you want to play such a nasty trick? Well... You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dim-winded all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You want, got a problem with that? I guess you do. Let's play Slick. Hey, I'm the one making the Let's Play, pal. You don't get to say Let's Play. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now don't worry, he can't turn you into a pig or anything. I almost held that for too long. You could get, I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play with that slip. Ow! Let's see if she can figure out anything about him. Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. Which HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Now remember that for later, because there is a reason why he doesn't have a name. It's apparently really good at transforming itself and other things. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs. This thing's a real jerk. Okay, let's see, what do I want to use on it this time? Let's just use normal attack. know what the enemy's name is if I remember right. I don't know how to spell it though. Which is the problem. Really I should be using um, shrimp for this fight because he's uh, better suited for it but I'm kind of trying something. Hmm, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well then my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. Yeah! How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Ha! Huh, I'm a dang genius. Good thing it's pretty easy to defeat myself. And don't worry, you won't hurt yourself attacking yourself like an orphan. Ow. And the title doesn't change if you uh, bio him whenever he's like Mario, so don't worry about that. Here, here, here. Hold on. What? What? Huh? You beat me? Yay! Oh, oh, oh. 
you got the crystal star very simply. Hmm. That's strange. Usually it's a lot harder to get these things. Um, okay. End of chapter! Or is it? Mario defeated the scourge of Kirby's people and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest is to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. This is back to creepy. Stephen Warrior sets out towards his bright future. Save all game cards up to this point, you really want to. Save and do not touch the merry card. Progress was saved. Hmm. Wow, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Well, we got the crystal stars. Let's get out of here. Why is the camera staying here? No, really, why is the camera still here? What the... Uh... Um... Why in the hell am I a little shadow thing? Uh... Well, find out in the next episode, guys. Till then, bye.